So how much did you like the pilgrimage, David? Well, the Dead Sea was awesome. You get to float and have all like that and all that. Did you have a good time? Yeah, and the food was awesome. You like that too? Did you like um, all the other places? Well, how about the camel? Well, yeah, that was fun. Okay, so you had a good time? Yeah. Uh, it's my second tri trip here with Steve and Janet. It's great. Uh, they've done 60 trips and they still have a lot of patience and enthusiasm. I'd probably uh, have pulled all my hair out right now if I had to have that responsibility. But I'm here with my wife this time and I'm very happy to be here with her. Hi. <laughs> No, this has been the most inspiring journey for experience for me and uh, I think I have one uh, begin to, to to actually experience the presence of our Lord and uh, to be very inspired to walk on the footsteps where our Lord walked and also to uh, to visualize his presence everywhere. So it's certainly a moving experience for me. Me too. Go ahead. <laughs> Say what you just said. Leaving home, I was a bit hesitant. I was a bit afraid what I would encounter when I come. And now I'm so happy. I feel so fulfilled. And I have seen. I, I read the Bible before at school. But when I hear Steve Gray speak, I see the stories in a different light. I feel more enlightened. And um, I see things that I never saw before or that I ever thought that I would see before. I think he said it better than a priest. Go ahead, Dan. Well, uh, my wife and I uh, wanted to come to Hollywood. But she passed away in May, so I asked my daughter, and she agreed to come. And it's been a, a momentous occasion for both of us. We are sharing all this with my wife's soul, and we had experienced uh, a, a real uh, uh, comfort that we are here in the Holy Land. And praying for her. I, I'm, I'm with Dad. It, it's been a very moving experience. Um, I've kind of refound in, in my faith after Mom passed away, and it, it, it's been incredible. And you two have been wonderful. Um, we couldn't have asked for two better guides than you two. You're knowledgeable and exciting and, and, and spiritual and. The whole trip has been extremely moving. I, I can't describe it. No words can describe it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both of you. The trip was very um, spiritually enriching and it was it took my Catholic faith to a deeper conversion. Um, I enjoyed Steve's knowledge and zeal for the Bible and it's just been terrific. I definitely do it again and recommend it to anybody. Thank you. What has this trip meant for you? Meant to you? It um, meant a big deal. John and okay, thank you. It's just so exceptional, inspirational, and it's just awesome. It made me closer to God. I liked the Holy Sepulchre. It was so. I liked the pilgrimage. It was so much fun. I want to go again. And we sure loved having you, Marco. You are a wonderful boy. Thank you. Go ahead. What did this pilgrimage mean to you? Oh, it meant a lot, uh, especially to be with our family, to come to the Holy Land. Um, we, we watched Steve and Janet's family uh, following the footsteps of their walk in Christ as well. So um, our only hope is that this will be uh, something that continues our path along the uh, uh, following Christ as a family. This is one. It was a great experience. Yeah.
Hopefully the kids will remember it. <laughs> they will. I think they will. Thank you. I know the trip has been wonderful. It's been great with my kids here. I got to uh, meet with them without all of the grandchildren and everything. So, but it's uh, been wonderful for all the whole group. It's been wonderful having you with us too. Oh, thank you. What this trip has meant to me? Well, the pilgrimage for me has been a way of stepping back from my uh, studies for the priesthood, uh, to reflect on those, um, to kind of synthesize some of that formation um, as I step forward in, in the journey towards that now as I go on pastoral placement. Um, it's been fabulous to experience in a very concrete way the things that I've been studying over the years and this has really deepened my prayer life in some ways. Um, I know it will particularly help me in, in praying the rosary um, and I think it will help me a lot in being able to teach others about the faith and to bring the Gospels alive for them. Um, so off the top of my head that's roughly what the uh, pilgrimage has meant to me. Wonderful and it has been, it's been wonderful having you on this trip and we'll be praying for you too. Thank, Thank you, you very Justin. much. Thank you Justin. What were you expecting and how did it meet your expectations? Oh, it was a fantastic pilgrimage for our family. It, not only here, I had the older kids, the 13, 14, and 17 year old, but my wife was able to follow with the four younger kids um, at home with the virtual pilgrimage. And she tells me today that our pastor, our seminarian, our deacon, and, and several <laughs> families are following from home. So it was exciting to me to think that not only the trip for us was out of this world, but it also brought so many others and introduced them to the Holy Land. I thought it was really cool that we got to walk in the very footsteps of Jesus and be in all these holy places to hear in the gospel. So it'll really bring the gospel alive. This has been a marvelous experience, getting to know our Lord in his own hometown, in his own native land, which I'm sure he's proud of because he's done so much to make it pleasing to him. We ask him to bless our country and to get us through the difficult years ahead. Praise God. Steve and Janet, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for an incredible time. This has been a profound experience, an experience beyond words. I want to thank you for breaking open the word in new and exciting ways. I think it has energized this group of pilgrims, this group of Catholics, and all I can think of is thank you. Thank you very much.